hello, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'm Lady Pavel, also known as Luna Lamonte. And this is your June 2021 love reading. We're going to be focusing on your sun, moon, rising, Venus, your seventh house. And if you're a divine masculine, your Mars placement. Not only am I going to be pulling some charms, but we're going to be pulling some chess pieces okay so i figured we'll do something a little bit different from what i normally do keep in mind that time is fluent so we could be talking about your past present or future understand that we are under mercury retrograde okay and with these other planets aspecting and being in retrograde as well it can make the messages apply to you in different time periods okay so allow the messages to resonate with you in the way that they do. And if they don't apply, let it fly. All right, so let's dive right into your reading. Hello, my lovely Leos. This is your June 2021 love reading. I already pre-shuffled all of your cards and I pulled all of your charms and chess pieces. So we're going to dive right into your reading. So, um, not so many messages with the romance angels. So we're going to start there. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have love yourself first. Okay. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So definitely learning to put yourself first right now is going to be very important for you in the month of June, 2021. All right. And then we have true love. Now this came in crossing energy. So this is a romance of a lifetime. Okay, so this is definitely something that you could be dealing with right at this moment. All right. So we're going to reveal the secrets of your relationship with the naked truth. You guys got a lot of cards here. And I realized that they came out in reverse. Okay, so we're going to uncover these right now. We have improve. Pledge source seduce now this came up upright and we have precise okay so out of the five cards that came out seduce came out upright okay and four cards came out in the reverse so precise now in the upright it's representing you aiming at a goal and your relationship hitting that target so I see that right now you're maybe being a little bit more nearsighted in your relationship instead of seeing things from a far distance, okay? And this could be making you come off very cold, all right, and um, kind of withdrawled, all right? Now I'm also feeling like you could be expressing your truths very sharply or you could be being a little bit more abrupt at this time, all right? Now we have source, so maybe you're feeling kind of pessimistic towards your love life, okay? I'm also feeling like it could be due to this seduction here. One out of five cards that came out upright, seduce must be something that you're worried about, some type of seduction, some type of um, temptation interfering with your love life okay because i see that you hold this person a high regard okay you could be dealing with a gemini or a capricorn all right you definitely find this person your um divine counterpart all right with the potion of heart flow you love the flow of your relationship okay you guys could be having a lot of sex at this time because we have passion maybe you guys are really um, attracted to one another all right but i'm seeing like all of these cards coming out in reverse so we have improve in reverse so you know maybe you're having a hard time seeing some type of improvement in your love life okay i'm hearing maybe you're making negative remarks okay and with this source coming in reverse maybe you're not feeling protected by this individual all right, maybe I'm hearing unprotected sex, okay? So maybe you guys need to wrap it up. Okay, with this precise, you could be dealing with a Taurus Libra or a Sagittarius. This is definitely Sagittarius energy. Okay, this is like, to me, very um, Empress energy. So Libra, Taurus, okay? Yeah. 
I see that right now you're finding a hard time maybe um, hitting a certain goal with your partner, all right? And maybe you're finding it very hard to plan ahead with them. Maybe you're dealing with them day by day instead of making long-term goals with them, okay? Because right here we have the potion of farsight. So like seeing things from a far distance, like in the future, maybe right now you're being more like, let's focus on the now, being better now, okay? And we have pledge. So maybe you're questioning your partner's loyalty to you, okay? Yeah, maybe you're kind of losing some type of um, respect for them. I'm not sure, okay? Let's get into the love tea and see how your partner is feeling about you, okay? Returning, sending you love. Okay, so maybe somebody that you are dealing with is somebody that you decided to separate yourself from or pull back your energy from. So this person wants to tell you, their higher self wants to tell you that they want to return and they want to send you love, okay? I'm seeing like roses, flowers, gifts, love messages. They're definitely sending you energetic love, okay? They're sending you love energetically. But at the bottom of the deck, your partner feels like you're very sneaky. They also feel like you're always trying to pick fights, okay? And they also are contemplating on if you're still in love with them. Both still in love is in reverse. So maybe they're questioning if you still care about them. All right. I'm also hearing that maybe you're not even fighting with them anymore. And this is what's making them feel like you're sneaky and you got something to hide. I don't know why they got a snake here. Because to me, mice are a lot more sneakier than a snake. Okay. Yeah. Definitely, they're questioning if you're having sex with somebody because to me, when I see a snake, I think of kundalini energy. So they might be thinking that you have like some type of sex addiction. All right. Oh, yeah. Like they they got like some type of negative thoughts about you. OK, in your face. So maybe you were like out and about and, you know, maybe you gave attention to somebody else in front of them and they got really jealous. OK taking off yeah maybe you like ghosted this person or you're not even talking to this person okay because i see that like returning energy and loving yourself first wow yeah i'm feeling like clarifying loving yourself first in this other deck was past life relationship so this is somebody from the past okay yeah and i feel like you took off and did your own thing you know you're happily in a new relationship or you're happily doing your own thing after, you know, leaving a situation where you felt like you had to fight for their attention, um, you know, this person definitely got a sour taste in their mouth, okay? This might not be your partner. This might be somebody in your frequency. Remember, we are in Mercury retrograde, so a lot of past energy loves to, like, come up right now, all right? And I'm seeing spirit babies, so maybe this person wanted to take a risk with you and have children with you, okay? Now, you could have children, and they might, like, want to take in your children now i'm seeing like two extra children so maybe you like did your own thing and um you know you left this individual and you're happily like in another relationship and they feel like this is in their face okay if it's not that i'm seeing that you know this person definitely wants children with you okay but they feel like you're sneaky and you just do whatever you want you might be addicted to some type of toxicity all right yeah, and they're kind of questioning, do you still love me? You know, I'm, you know, they want to send you love and they want to return, but they don't feel like you're giving them any type of signal, all right? Let's look at your self-care cards, all right? So you can treat yourself with extra TLC, all right? We have spending time with animals, okay? Music. So you could be somebody who loves music, okay? We have journaling, writing out your goals, making a meal, aromatherapy so putting on your favorite fragrance okay going out smelling nice all right and sweet treats number five is coming up very prominent so you could be going through a lot of change right now let's look at your playing cards we got the title card here so definitely trying to like solidify 
some type of um, documents right now. That could be the focus of your relationship, okay? With that pledge that's going hand in hand, all right? So, you know, you could be wanting to solidify your relationship right now. And maybe you're not getting that, okay? We have Learn Music on here again. Oh, wow, and a snake on here as well. So somebody could resonate with um, snakes, okay? Serpents, dragons, whatever, okay? Music definitely coming up twice now, all right? Now we have the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come forward with an offering, okay? Again, something tangible, all right? Um, I'm hearing job applications. You could be looking for work, all right? We have the Six of Cups or the Six of Hearts. So past energy, past love, yes. Somebody here making a decision on two people, two lives, two different goals, okay? Somebody definitely wanting to come in and communicate something with you at this time. Let's get into the nectar of the reading with the tarot and see what we have coming up energetically for you. You guys got a lot of cards, all right? Yeah, so I see that right now you're trying to weigh out your options, okay? You're definitely um, trying to figure out like what you want to tap into emotionally, all right? I'm also hearing a jack of all trades, all right? Let that apply to you in the way that it does. The lovers is coming up again, so you definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody could have Gemini in their chart that you walked away from in the past, and now somebody wants to come forward and express how they want a victory with you, okay? If it's not a Gemini, it could also be somebody who shares the same chart placements as you, okay? So it could be like another Leo as well. Somebody's waiting for a sign, all right? But I see that whoever this is made you feel burdened, okay? They were definitely juggling you in the past. They made you feel like whenever you came around, like you bored them or you were just like, brushed under, under the rug and not considered, okay? So I'm seeing that right now, you know, this person is definitely emotionally invested in you, whoever you're with or somebody that you're attracting into your life, okay? They're definitely emotionally attracted to you, okay? This is like, you know, the King of Cups is like somebody who is solid family guy or, you know, family woman, whoever. This person is solid, you know, 10 toes down, going to give you the love that you deserve, all right? Definitely hold you at high regard, right? But this person sees you as independent, thriving on your own, sitting pretty, you know, just flourishing in your wonderfulness, all right? They see you as somebody who may not even be checking for them, okay? They could be spying on you at this time, but there's some type of block communication, all right? Yeah, yeah. Now, we had the Ace of Pentacles coming up with the Ace of Clubs, okay? This is the same energy here. So somebody wants to come in and give you something tangible, all right? Somebody wants to come out of this energy where they're not speaking to you or not being expressive towards you at this time, all right? They want to just communicate how they want to create a new start with you, okay? They see you as somebody who has... All of the elements, all of the wisdom, all of the looks, whatever it is that they're looking for in a person. And they see that you continue to grow and better yourself in all of your endeavors. And they want to communicate this to you very quickly that they want to hash this out and work through whatever hardships that you guys went through. All right. Beautiful energy here. All right, I'm hearing, oh yeah, rushing in cherry energy. Somebody could have cancer in their chart. The magician is all mutable signs. So we're talking about Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini, and um, Virgo energy here. All right, we're also looking at, again, like I said, a Gemini or somebody who has very similar sign placements or any of, the fire signs and earth signs, okay? We have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo coming up very strong, okay? Let's get into your charms, okay? So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Cancer coming up twice, all right? So imaginative, so now you could be like a Leo Cancer cusp, all right? 
we have Capricorn coming out twice for ambitious, okay? Ambitious coming up twice. So definitely a time for you to use your imagination and your ambition to get you to where you want to be romantically. The letters that could be significant to you is... I'm trying to see if I can make some words real quick. I'm just turning them around. We have lots. So you can have a lot of options right now. We have not. So you could be not interested in people, right? You could be not interested in the offerings that you have right now or the people that you're around right now. All right. Okay. We have some. Yeah, I'm seeing like you might have some options, a lot of options, but you're not too interested in them or you're not giving them a go. Okay. Now, the letters that can be significant to you is B O L T N M and S. Okay. I'm also seeing an onk here. So I'm hearing life. Okay. Now, the charms that you have is a male deer, okay? So somebody that you're dealing with could be like really into nature or um, somebody who like connects with animals, okay? And that's funny because in your reading at the bottom of the deck, we have spending time with animals. So that's coming out twice now because we also have a horse here. So somebody can like going horseback riding or being around animals. We have a rabbit. So somebody can be very fertile. Okay. So if you're trying to have children, this could be a great time. If not, you know, have safe sex. Okay. We have a tree. So with a heart around the tree. So, you know, the tree of life, the tree of your ancestors, you know, your roots, so connecting with family, your ancestors. We have Jesus here. So somebody can be very religious. Okay. So calling on to your ascended masters, your ancestors, your gods, goddesses, whatever you believe in. And, and um, ask them for guidance at this time. And then we have this charm that has like a ladder, a hat, a tie, like all these different charms within it. So again, you could be like a jack of all trades. You could be like multifaceted all right yeah so let's get into your chess pieces we have how are you perceiving this person we have a knight okay so you're perceiving this person as somebody who is highly energetic um spontaneous all right somebody who likes to travel all right you could also see them as somebody who has like in and out energy all right, I said, how does this person view themselves? And they view themselves as a pawn. So somebody who um, has the potential to grow, all right? But I'm also hearing that they may be like dealing with insecurities or maybe they have like a low self-esteem, all right? And I said, how is this person going to be at the end result? And I got the rook here. So this person definitely could be somebody that you go through a lot of transitions with a lot of life-changing events with, okay? I'm also seeing that you could have children by this individual or you could um, want children with this individual, okay? Because the pawn can also signify somebody who is very fertile, all right? Again, like somebody who has the potential to grow into whatever they create, all right? So I hope these messages were helpful. If you would like a personal reading, check out the description box down below for all of those important details. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment if you feel that these messages resonated. Sending you guys so much love. We are divinely connected. Until next time, peace.